Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Last Week in Quantum. I'm your host, Bill Roth, self-proclaimed Silicon Valley marketing genius. This is the show where we review the week's news in the world of quantum computing and its impacts on the worlds of cybersecurity, AI, and more. And with us to discuss this week is, as always, Brandon Dennis, Director of Operations. Hello, Brandon. It's a pleasure, Bill. And Dave Krautnammer, co-founder and CEO at QSecure. Welcome, Dave. Hey, Bill. So, folks, uh, last week in Quantum, a bunch of things going on. We had a Forbes article around the impact of AI on post-quantum security. Uh, D-Wave and Zapata AI partner to accelerate quantum computing for industrial and AI applications. And DARPA selects Microsoft to continue the development of a utility scale quantum computer. Let's get started by talking to our experts. So Brandon, um, what is the impact on post-quantum cybersecurity of all the things that have been going on in AI? We have an article out of Forbes from our good friend, Skip Sanzeri. Uh, article talks about the integration of artificial intelligence into cybersecurity and how it is rapidly evolving to counteract the profound security challenges posed by the quantum computing era. Skip mentioned that AI is driven, uh, AI driven cybersecurity systems are becoming essential to predict, detect, and respond to complex threats that could undermine traditional encryption methods. So Dave, for you, how is AI impacting resiliency in networks? Yeah, great question. This is an area, guys, I'm super excited about. Um, if you look at QSecure and what we do, we provide agility out to the endpoints, policy, um, so we can adapt at any endpoint in real time to threats. Now, the future is um, there are no people involved in this process, that these endpoints are self-adaptive and there's a machine learning layer that understands, hey, there's a cluster of attacks going on in a particular set of endpoints. We're going to just adapt in real time. So I think from our perspective, it relates to crypto agility and the ability to adapt at an endpoint. And ML gives you a lot of insight and, and can thwart someone trying to attack an endpoint because it's just changing in real time as that threat is happening. Super excited about this. This is the future and this is our future. It's everyone's future and it's how we create a safer world. Excellent. Hey folks, quick reminder, you can find the links to all of the articles mentioned today in our show notes. And if you want weekly quantum updates, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, also we have a podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio. So stay up to date with all the latest news in the world of quantum. So next up was uh, a partnership agreement, uh, D-Wave and Zapata AI partner to accelerate quantum computing in industrial AI. What the heck does this mean, Brandon? Oh, good article here, Bill. So D-Wave, who is a leader in quantum computing systems, they partnered with Zapata Computing uh, to expedite quantum computing applications in industrial AI. The collaboration aims to integrate Zapata's advanced AI algorithms with D-Wave's quantum technology to solve complex computational problems. Dave, really interested in your thoughts. What are the opportunities for convolutional neural networks in an industrial environment? Convolutional neural networks, guys. So convolution is how AI works. The quantum version of that is convolutional neural nets. And convolutional neural nets understand the state of a complex system all at once. So versus current AI methods, which do it linearly. So super exciting. Buzzword for the day, say convolutional neural networks at least five times when you talk. If you think about an industrial system, there's a lot of complex things going on. There's many, many devices interacting in many, many ways. So the importance and the power of quantum AI is that it can understand the state and adapt the state of all these sensors, and technologies and do it at once and integrate together. It's a perfect natural step in the industrial environment to have a fully connected environment that's really powerful and works in real time. And folks, don't forget, you heard the word convolutional here first on last week in quantum. Just uh, another gift from the folks at QSecure. So our uh, next article is interesting because there are sort of two two words that are really big and scary, both DARPA and Microsoft. 
So let's talk about this, Brandon. DARPA selects Microsoft to continue the development of a utility scale quantum computer. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, with the Microsoft and DARPA announcement, I pulled that they're aiming to solve complex computational problems. Um, and the initiative is part of the broader effort to foster technological breakthroughs and maintain a leading edge in quantum computing. Uh, Dave, your thoughts on the implications of this initiative for national security? Yeah, so guys, we're lucky enough to have our head of engineering CTO came out of DARPA, NSA, the National Missile Defense Agency. So uh, we have a lot of experience in, in that world. One thing I want to step back and just you know put my Patriot hat on. In my interaction with the government and these organizations um, in the last four years, I've really learned that there's a lot of really smart people in our government, especially in the Defense Department. And they are very, very concerned and, and really want to adopt these new technologies. DARPA is the tip of the spear for adopting new technologies in DOD. And you know, the, the challenge with quantum computers is noise. We're quickly working on that. Um, and just to see Microsoft, and DARPA, when DARPA engages in one of these initiatives, you know it's going to result in a fundamental change in, in the Department of Defense. And so I think this is really foundational to, to really getting these, these bleeding, cutting-edge technologies out to the rest of the Department of Defense Department. All right. Excellent. Well, folks, that's all for today's show. I'm your host, Bill Roth, humble, self-proclaimed Silicon Valley marketing genius. And with us this week on Last Week in Quantum has been Brandon Dennis, Director of Operations for QSecure and The Estimable. Dave Krauthammer, co-founder and CEO at QSecure. Thank you to you both. Always a hoop. Thanks, Dean. And remember, I have an internal competition for who gets the most likes on these videos. So like mine. Like Go ours. team. Go team. <laughs> And hey, folks, we're going to have a special episode coming up, so tune in and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our interview with the folks at Cuera. And as always, thanks to our producer, Trina Mabunai, who does all the hard work. And folks, we'll see you next week on Last Week in Quantum. Take care, guys.